working on something and get some donuts. In this case, this is a backpack that uh, is designed for use while skiing or snowboarding. My coworker has had this pack for many years and it seems to be of good quality, but eventually things wear out. And in this case, the seam where the front panel of the pack attaches to the zipper has separated. And nothing's torn, it's just the thread is becoming separated from the uh, material. So it should be a relatively easy repair to make. Before I start the actual repair, I just want to look and see if I can determine what might be the mode of failure and see if there's anything else I need to do. And it looks to me like the fabric has frayed quite a bit. And it, it, I usually try to conceal my raw edges when I make things like this but it looks like they just folded a single hem over and then sewed the zipper on top. And as you can see, they left a raw edge of the fabric revealed under the uh, end of the zipper tape. And I think eventually that just frayed enough to separate from the zipper. That's not how I make stuff. Because this is just a quick job for a friend that only pays donuts, uh, I just basically put the fabric back in place over the zipper tape and sewed it back exactly where it was. In so doing, I think I realized why this problem happened. The raw edge of the fabric being left exposed allowed the fabric to start fraying and that led to the separation from the zipper tape. But the reason that that raw edge was exposed I think whoever sewed this together at whatever factory didn't put the fabric edge or the fold close enough to the actual zipper. It's too far away and that left that raw edge exposed. By comparison, this is a bag that I made and you can see that the fabric comes to the edge of the zipper teeth much closer and on the inside the zipper tape completely covers the raw edge of fabric, so that failure is less likely to happen on, on my bag. So there you have it. The bag is repaired. In examining it uh, more closely, it's obvious to me that it's going to continue to fail in other areas on the zipper, so ultimately I probably need to remove the zipper completely and put it back in, in my opinion, correctly. 
uh, and maybe even replace the zipper because the zipper tape itself is pretty frayed. But that's going to cost more than donuts, so I'm not going to do that today. In my opinion, this is a great example of why I think it's important to know how to sew and have a sewing machine. This repair took almost no skill, and I don't even know how much it would cost to have it repaired professionally if you could even find someone in your area to do this kind of repair. Uh, I don't know if like an alterations shop would even do it. Just general sewing shops aren't that easy to find these days, unfortunately. So, if you have gear that has worn out and needs some repair and you've got a sewing machine and a little bit of skill, you can fix it yourself. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments section below. And if you're not already a subscriber, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.